Your Peoria Riverman game highlights are brought to you by the shops at Grand Prairie. Steps in over the rim in line, trying to dump one in. Over Jansen in the near corner. Skips by check, Jansen feeds back door, shot, they score! Travis Armstrong on the back door, and Roanoke gets the first goal this game one. They lead Sargis. Over to Ford in the high slot, delays. The half board trying to center a shot, deflected, they score. Only seemed a matter of time. Garrett Sargis right in front. The Riverman being owned in their own zone, in their own house. They trail 2 0 to the Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs. Right side rumble now, Wilkie. One time, Pat Tate. Rebound score! Mitch McPherson right on the doorstep. It's an Avenue North Power Play goal with 7 31 to play in the second. The Riverman are on the board. They trim the Roanoke lead in half 2 1. Well, you know, Jason and I, or Jason, you and I were talking in that media timeout. It, this was a must score for the Riverman here to shift the momentum back in their favor. And Mitch McPherson doing just that, parking himself in front of the net, getting on that rebound and putting it in the back of the net for the Riverman. Mitch McPherson, his first goal of the postseason, third point. And it's a critical Amarin, Illinois power play goal. And it's left out ahead. There's, there's a foot race for it. Try to step in. He's in for Deke shoots. Big save by Barry. Rebound on another save by Jack Barry. Denying Garrett Sargis. Trying to reverse one up the wall to the line, held in Rumble. Rumble trying to shot, he scores! Brandon Rumble, a bullet might have been deflected in, if so it's Laidley's goal, either way. An Amory Illinois power play to own goal, ties us up at two apiece. What a deflection there from Mike Laidley out in front as he leads the charge back toward the bench. Again, that's the epitome of get the puck toward the net. Both Riverman goals, it's because of people standing out in front of the net, taking away the vision of Sammy Bernard and making a play to put one into the back of the net. Two unanswered Riverman power play goals. Mike Laley, his second goal of the playoffs. It's from the unheralded heroes. Guys who only have a goal or two in these playoffs coming up big for the Riverman. They've tied this game up 2-2. Two -two. Skates in over the line, left wing side. Feeds one out in front, triangle shot, he scores! Lauren Anthony Grissom! Something about Carver Arena, the short angle goals are working for the Rivermen, and they take their first lead of the hockey game, 3-2 and 13-13 to go. Well, I don't have a magician-like name for LA Grissom, but what a shot there from Grissom. Again, it's a short angle shot, he banked it off the back of Sammy Bernard, and the Rivermen, three unanswered goals now, have all the momentum in the world. That's their first five on five even strength goal of this series and in this game. Lord Anthony Grissom. At seven seconds to go. Laley couldn't clear. Fort holds it. Trying to serve Sargis the shot. Big pad save by Barry. Rebound. Another save by Barry. Riverman win. That's the win for the Riverman. Peoria takes game one against the Rona Grail Yard Dogs. Unbelievable. What a sequence. And the Riverman mob Jack Barry. Electric on home ice. Thanks for watching, Riverman fans, and we'll see you at the shops in this new year. Be sure to visit White House Black Market for tons of exciting finds.